And whether it's negotiating pension reform or campaigning in local neighborhoods, Jacksonville Mayor Lenny Curry needs little help with name recognition. As he campaigns for another term, this self-proclaimed introvert says it's being part of and visiting local neighborhoods that has inspired many of his ideas for change while in office. Mayor Curry told me his passion to change the city for the better also stems from being a husband and father, which he says has made him a better listener and leader. Get involved in the life of a young person yes. that needs it. If it seems like Jacksonville Mayor Lenny Curry is everywhere while on the job, you should see him when he's not. I like to exercise, I like to run, I like to lift weights, I like to, stew, uh, to cycle, to stay in shape. We have three chickens, we have two cats, we have two dogs, uh, we have a bird. Uh, so it's, it's a pretty busy house. <laughs> They're my yeah. buddies now. <laughs> Curry admits it can be a challenge to squeeze in family time with his wife Molly and their three kids. But as an only child himself, this is a childhood dream come true. And I always, always knew I wanted to be a father. And I always knew I wanted kids. In fact, before Molly and I got married, I told her I wanted six. She's one of four. She didn't say no at the time, but after three, um, I'll say we agreed together. It's the workplace that brought this powerhouse couple together, both graduating from the University of Florida, then joining two different international accounting firms. When those firms merged, so did they. Come on, Blakey's. Curry says his family helped transform him from being an introvert. I've learned how important that is to have that personal connection with people in the community and in the neighborhood. And that, Curry says, has helped him make combating violent crime his first priority, restoring cuts to and then increasing Jacksonville's police force and investing in crime-fighting technologies. But his closest compo. <laughs> The four years before I came into office, there were 30% spikes in murders and homicides, over 30%. The police force had been cut, take, uh, crime fighting had been neglected. Since I've gotten into office, we saw those spikes flatline, slight increases, but flatline, and a slight dip this year. That's not a celebration, there's a long way to go, but without my commitment to public safety, before I got here, this is what was happening, the trend would have continued. This person was on city council now, has been on city council now the length of time I've been mayor of Jacksonville, was the city council president and has yet to introduce a single piece of legislation or a bill that deals with public safety or deals with children's services. That's their job. The first attack ad that came out against uh, Anna Broche happened before she even registered as, as a candidate. Why? And does that mean that you see her as a threat? Look, she was putting out press releases for six months, every two months, saying, I'm thinking about this, I'm thinking about this, I'm thinking about this. So she put a press release out in early December that said, again, I'm thinking about this. So that political committee decided, okay, you keep thinking about it. We're going to go ahead and put your record out for the people to judge. Another criticism from Broche, Curry isn't available or transparent enough. Look, I am accessible and available and in the community on a regular basis. And, you know, as this campaign goes on, I'm happy to put my record of actually being engaged with people face to face, person to person, one on one, not just for four years, but even in the previous campaign to those that are running against me now that either have held public office or are not and have not shown up for the community and have not been visible until they decided they thought they wanted to hold higher office. Among so many other things, we also spoke with Curry about his TV ad featuring support from Democratic City Councilman Tommy Hazuri and also the claim from the Duval Democrats chairman who says most Democrats don't think Curry is doing a great job. You'll find all of that right now on newsforjacks.com where we have posted my uncut interview with Lenny Curry. Along with his responses to challenger Anna Brochet's claims, you can also hear more insight about his family life, his faith, oh yeah, and football. He's a huge fan. Also, there's a direct link inside this story to my uncut interview with Broche, which we aired and posted online this past Thursday. You'll find it all right now on newsforjax.com on the homepage.